What's Joel doing? Joel, where are you going? Don't run eh. Uh, no, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> hey, What are you looking for? Uh, you want us no. to help you look? <laughs> Oh, Hi everyone, welcome to a new season of Now You Know where the team from Pixel Studio NLD shares with you our favorite hobbies, food, expertise and more. The aim of this series is to share with you some fun facts and interesting information so that we can keep on learning and get those brain cells working. It's all about discovering through learning in a fun way. Do stay till the end of the session for the fun quiz and participate along with the team. The aim is to reinforce learning and practice uh, your listening skills, which is in session life skills to develop. For this new season, we will share 10 facts in 10 slides, uh, hopefully in 10 minutes on the chosen topic. And for today, we have Mr. Hoffis who will share with us 10 facts about Singapore Airlines. Woo! A great to fly. Yeah. <laughs> They're way to fly. Okay. So all your service, take it away. Okay, so uh, welcome everyone to episode two, season two of Now You Know. So today I'll be presenting to you on our beloved national airline. Talking about Singapore Airlines, our nation's airline had a humble beginning, then known as Malayan Airways Limited, taking off into the skies on 1st May 1947 from the then Kalam Airport. So following Singapore's merger with the Federation of Malaya, a bit of history, eh? Sabah and Sarawak in 1963, the airline was renamed as Malaysian Airways Limited, also um, MAL. Um, after that, it underwent another name change after Singapore was ousted from the Federation in 1965. And then after that, the airline continued. Uh, it was jointly owned by both uh, Singapore and Malaysia and it was known as Malaysia Singapore Airlines, MSA. Forging its own path. But because due to differing ambitions from both sides, since now they are both uh, two separate countries controlling one airline, right? Malaysia Airlines, no, Malaysia, Malaysia Singapore Airlines was split into the, into the airlines that we know of today, which is MAS, Malaysia Airlines System, and uh, what we know today as Singapore Airlines. Lah. So seeing how part of the reason for the split was because Singapore wanted to expand its international reach, while Malaysia Airlines wanted to expand its domestic reach. So Singapore Airlines took most of MSA's international routes after the separation, while uh, Malaysia Airlines system retained all of the domestic Malaysia routes within Malaysia or within the region. Lah. So going places, because you know what's an airline if you don't go to places all over the world, right? So the airline's humble beginning saw it operating a modest set of routes and frequencies to Kuala Lumpur, Ipoh and Penang. Although these saw a gradual expansion with the addition of routes like Bangkok in Thailand or Bandar Sri Begawan in Brunei, among other regional destinations. So um, fast forward a few decades uh, later, uh, SIA stretched its legs and went intercontinental with a flight to London, United Kingdom in the 1970s. Many years later, it again broke records and clinched the title of having the world's longest flight, a 15,300 kilometer route to New York, New York, United States of America. An unmistakable world icon. So apart from its renowned service that we all know and love today, for those who have uh, had the chance to fly with SQ uh, before, right? Singapore Airlines is also world famous because of the iconic Singapore girl, as you can see with the, uh, with the ladies here. The Singapore girl had its roots planted by the original female purses introduced by the airline in the, the early 1950s. And uh, one of the uh, more memorable things about the Singapore girl is their uniform, which is uh, the so this signature sarong kebaya that the Singapore girl wears here that you see here was a design by French couturier Pierre Balmain in 1968. So this uniform really had uh, it had come a long way lah. So all over the world, the Singapore girl is an embodiment of beauty, elegance, and Asian hospitality. So uh, you don't see it in this picture here, but there's a fourth color uh, of, of the Singapore uh, Singapore girl uniform, which is purple. All, all, all these four colors, they represent a different ranking within the hierarchy of the uh, uh, Singapore Airlines uh, cabin crew system. So the most junior one is the blue one, the one that you see uh, a lot of. Following that is the leading stewardess, which is green. Above that is the chief stewardess, which is red. And then the topmost is the in-flight manager, 
or, or, or of the cabin crew, which is purple. So total, uh, there's, there's, there's four colors like, when it comes to uh, the Singapore Airlines cabin crew uniform. Um, it's the same with the Singapore boys as well. I, I, I don't, actually, I don't know what they call the guys, but I, I like to call them <laughs> Singapore boys. Like. Since you always they say like Singapore girls, Singapore girls. Yeah. Okay, slide number six, which is Singapore Airlines is no stranger to first. So what do I mean by this? It was the first airline to dish out free headsets to passengers for use with its in-flight entertainment system. It also revolutionized service by giving economy class passengers a choice when it comes to meal and drinks. And then uh, in somewhere in the uh, mid 2000s or rather late 2000s, it also made news in October 20- 2007 by being the first airline in the world to operate the Airbus A380 Super Jumbo aircraft with a flight from Singapore to Sydney, which is this plane that you see here in this picture. Slightly further from home, it also clinched the title of the first airline to operate a service between the cities of Canberra, Australia and Wellington, New Zealand, which was affectionately known as the Capital Express. Never resting on its laurels, Singapore Airlines was a champion for innovation. One of such endeavours was the introduction of audio video on demand in its Chris World Entertainment System, where passengers can watch or listen to anything that they want whenever they want. That's what they mean by audio video on demand. So, um, SQ was the uh, first airline to pioneer this uh, in, in the industry. Lah. SQ also revealed the world's widest first and business class seats in 2006, as seen in this picture here. This is the uh, 2006 uh, first class product. In a world where customer expectations and tastes are always changing, the airline introduced its own take of premium economy class in 2015 to cater for those uh, discerning travellers that want a little bit more than economy class, but they can't quite afford business class. Lah. So, uh, and then most recently to keep up with the competition, since you know every airline is trying to outdo each other, new products were revealed on 2nd November 2017, which is most of the products that you, s- you would see on uh, in the planes if you fly with them today, right now. Apart from flying passengers around, the airline has also ventured into other pursuits such as releasing a cookbook in 2010 known as Above and Beyond, a collection of recipes from the Singapore Airlines International Culinary Panel. Notably, Singapore Airlines Cargo also transported giant pandas, Jaja and Kai Kai, if you all remember them from the Singapore Zoo, uh, a ferry flight from Chengdu to Singapore on 6 September 2012. Um, SIA also gave back to society by bringing more than 300 beneficiaries on a three and a half hours flight. This includes children with special needs, adults with disabilities, and also disadvantaged families and elderly who never had a chance to take a flight before. And then um, the airline also took part in National Day Parade 2015, which you remember as the SG50 year, with a fly pass display of an Airbus A380 plane painted in a special Singapore flag livery, which is uh, the picture you see here. And the participation of 20 Singapore girls in the Vintage Parade segment. Uh, I'm not sure whether you all remember the Vintage Parade segment uh, during NDP 2015. No. Yeah, forget about it. Yeah, so, okay, it's just, the Vintage Parade segment is where they call back all the old timers, you know, from the service. Oh, and that, wow. the, you know, the, the old police uh, uh, and the oh, old yeah. that I'm wow. not, uh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, so they included Singapore Airlines in this part in, in the vintage parade uh, part of the segment. Lah. Undeniably, the airline has become a huge part of the Singapore brand on the global stage, apart from the Malayan, of course. You know, uh, you could ask people from other parts of the world, what do they know of Singapore? And um, they would most likely mention Singapore Airlines, among other things, lah, because you know of uh, Singapore Airlines' global reach and uh, the, the publicity and things like that. As an embodiment of Singapore society at its best, with renowned service and hospitality, Singapore Airlines has time and time again clinched top awards and rankings in the airline world, giving more people around the world to try, sorry, giving more reason to people around the world to try Singapore Airlines or to keep, even come to Singapore in the long run. Yeah, so you would say that Singapore Airlines has become an institution all by itself, uh, being part of the Singapore brand. And yeah, so that's why I think that Singapore Airlines has become an ambassador of Singapore to the world. Lah. And here are the references. And now, come on, let's go full marks. No pressure. 
Try, <laughs> <laughs> I try. It's a spirit. Uh, let's start the quiz. Question one. Singapore Airlines first came to be as Malayan Airways Limited or Malaysian Airways Limited. Sure. What was it? What was it known as for the very first time in the late nineteen forties? Correct, Malayan Airways Limited. Masih, Masih Air Limited. There was Sri Vijaya Airways, is it? Also, wrong country, right? lah. Question two: The airline was renamed as Malaysian Airways Limited, or which date? Malaysian Airways Limited. The answer ah. is 16 September 1963. And who put 1966? Me. Who's the other one? Confess, please. Me, me. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was stuck between these two, the two, two yeah, answers. So like, uh, six, 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 remember, six, remember uh. during my presentation, I said something about history lesson. What happened in 1963? Then, like the Singapore and the what lah? Singapore and Malaysia. Separate. Yes, they Singapore joined the Federation of Malaya and Sabah and Sarawak. So that's why after they merged, mm. that's why they renamed it as Malaysia Airways Limited. It cannot be 1966 because what happened in 1965? Independence. Yes, independence. Yeah, correct. <laughs> so, so I don't think uh, history lesson. Uh. So, Brian, Hana, and Joel. Joel, come. Kozu, you same point with me. She Kozu. Joel, hundred percent, hundred percent marks. Let's go. Man lah. Now's your time to shine. Okay, come on, come on. You only hold to Hana. Battle to the top. Come on, guys. Hey, name that event in the 1960s that led to the airline being renamed Malaysian Airlines. Name the event in 1960s that the airline. Wow, this is tough. Joel, we 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 just mentioned the answer like one minute ago. <laughs> That's okay. You just you just think what happened. Then if 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 it matches, then I will give you the point. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lucky. Before Malaysia join, wrong lah. Uh, I think the actually, I I read the question wrongly. I actually wanted to put separation, sir. Yeah. Separation. But, He's separate, correct. Technically correct lah. Separation is correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I, now you 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 said that uh, the earlier we we just mentioned it. So I I thought you were talking about the federation. So I just put the federation. No no no. Because yeah. the reason why um uh the airline got renamed to Malaysia Singapore Airlines was because of the Singapore got ejected from the federation, right? But then they wanted to continue to do business, so they jointly owned the airline. So that's why they renamed it to Malaysia Singapore Airlines. So the answer could have been separation. Independence or I put independence? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or I put another one is Merdeka lah. If you, Merdeka. If you, yes, exactly. Merdeka. So um, who got it? Joel. I put independence. Wow. Yeah, correct, 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 correct. Wow, Joel. Wow. I'm coming. You don't think you hire him then after me? Yeah. Being <laughs> one of the first three regional destinations that the airline flew when it started out. Regional, internal, right? Uh, yes, meaning in in this region, lah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, in this region, because just now I mentioned there's three. I explicitly <laughs> mentioned three regions, three destinations that the airline flew through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flew through. So, it's on Malaysia, right? It's on Malaysia state. I right? don't know. I don't know. Ah! <laughs> I I forgot. Oh God! Hey, correct. Hey, <laughs> KL, correct, eh? Like... KL. I put Penang. Yeah, yeah I put all three. Yeah, I put Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, what on earth? I asked for one, you give me three. Bagus lah. Oh, bagus lah. He remember all. Wah, say, yeah, I cannot even remember all. <laughs> say, see. Yes, correct. Uh, the first three destinations that um excuse uh, or rather the then Malaya Airlines Limited uh, started out is, uh, KL, Penang, and Ipoh. Correct. Singapore Airlines had its first intercontinental flight on second June 1971. Oh, Where was it too? Yeah, this one I know. Oh yeah, you give an MCQ, not. never mind. Okay. What, 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 never mind? You want this to be open-ended, is it? <laughs> Because I know this one too. <laughs> I'll be back you for MCQ. What? New York. No. New York. Wrong New York. London. Uh. London. Uh. Yes, the answer <laughs> is London, United Kingdom. <laughs> so that's our first, is it? Wow. Yeah. Don't stop there. Eh. Yeah, but back then, uh, due to um, 
due to planes not having the range back then, the level oh, of the they, they, so oh, they, they had to make like some stopovers. Stopovers, ah, uh, yeah. wow, wow. But yes, it was uh, is is London, UK. Next uh, question. Moving okay. on. Everyone doing okay so far? Shafiq? Okay. Yep. No, okay lah, sort of. <laughs> sort of? Come on, okay. How many colours of the Singapore's girl sarong kebaya are there? Oh, this one I know. This one six. <laughs> Confident, say. <laughs> Four, <laughs> yeah. Did you just say six, Shafiq? You want me to minus points? Try to trick us, right? You are Shafiq. Naughty, naughty. I try to trick us, right? Okay, so everyone, everyone got this question, uh, right? Okay, which is good. So I think I think your I think it's past the point where you can catch up already, like. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Give me what what was the Australian New Zealand city pair where Asai was the first airline in the world to operate between? Is it Sydney Outlet, Melbourne Christchurch, Brisbane Queenstown, or Canberra Wellington? Yes, yeah, correct. It's Canberra Wellington. <laughs> And then so uh, you should. <laughs> so you should. <laughs> yeah. Can you all remember what is the nickname that people gave this route? Uh Ca- Capital <laughs> Express. Capital Express. Right. Capital Express. Next question. Joel! Oh, still Come on, Joel. In the game, huh, Joel? You're only home. <laughs> 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 I'll be so disappointed if you lose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be friends with you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Joel got screenshot, is it? Oh, <laughs> the screenshot. Okay. Um, as I introduced the world's widest first right? business class seats in which year? Oh, oh lucky. Oh, oh my, so I don't know. Business class. Eh. Hana, I saw you narrowing your eyes. Is it? You can remember or you cannot remember or is it too easy for you? Cannot remember. That's the humble. I lose. <laughs> oh. It's 2006. 2006 is the year where SQ, they did a uh, revamp or introduced uh, new seats across all classes of its, of its uh, products. Lah. So from economy class all the way up to first class. So it was quite a major year. 2006 is when they introduced the world's widest first business class seats. And let's see who got it right. So I think I'm seriously. I own oh, no, I think I'm. I know oh, no, Joel. Joel. What happened? How I think I'm. Alamak, oh, Joel. Oh, oh, Shafiq oh, is so disappointed in you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> since, since the guys only got four points. <laughs> <laughs> that's it lah, that's it lah. Hana wins this game. Honey and Hana. Only two. Question 9. SIA pulled back the covers on its premium economy class product in which year? Premium oh. economy class? Yes. See, this one only got three options. Uh, yes, actually all these years it means something. It was in the presentation. 2013 was when they introduced uh, another the next generation of uh, um, uh, seats. And then 2015 was when they introduced for the first time premium economy class. Mm. And then 2017 was the is the is the is the um, current generation of CSA, the one that you see in uh, you see in this place today, lah. So the correct answer is 2015. Okay, let's see who got it. Who did not get let's it? Let's see right. who get it wrong. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay lah, you got Shafiq at the bottom, lah. So you're not not. Yeah, you're, you're not I'm ro- I'm always right behind you, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is what you call a ride or die buddy, ah. Huh? <laughs> it's always supporting from the back. Exactly. Family, yeah, family. Yeah, we need people like that. Oh, no problem. <laughs> okay, last question. Hana, did, whether it means you get like full marks. Okay, how many Singapore girls participated oh, in the British Parade segment of National Day Parade 2015? Now I give you five options. It's also known as SG50 uh, that year. Is that a hint? Oh, is that a trick question? <laughs> trick question, uh, G50 lah. Uh, I just said G50 lah. Uh, yeah. 20. Wrong answer! Alamak! Uh, who got the right answer? Is it Hannah? <laughs> you all fell for it. You all got thrown off when I said G50 Yeah, right? actually, I so don't remember. <laughs> I had dumb on it. Okay, the answer is 20. We had 20 Singapore girls. So, if I'm not wrong, they were... If, if I'm not wrong, I think they were located. They, they were placed in uh, rickshaws. I, I'm not sure if you all remember. Oh, so they don't much lah. Yeah, they, they do. 
how, how suave are, too much. <laughs> no, how on earth you know that skirt so tight and then they want to massage yeah. like, very poor like that. <laughs> well, they will rip the skirt no, no, apart. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. So they were so all these twenty uh, Singapore girls they were placed in uh, rickshaws back then and then they had people uh, uh pulling it through the through the procession. Nice, nice. So great lah. It's not ten. It's not fifty. Just because <laughs> you all got to run because I think it's fifty. Not everything. Uh, I can't remember so seriously. Many, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Anna uh, Oni, wow. Wow, man. Still unbeatable, man. Yes. Yeah, so man. once again, Hana is the undefeated champion for this latest edition of uh, Now You Know. Okay, thank you everyone for participating in this uh, quiz and presentation. So I hope you learn a thing or two about our beloved national airline. We would love to hear from you if there's anything we can improve, or if there's any other topics that you'd like us to cover. Uh, do leave us in the comments below. We would love to hear it. Uh, until next time, uh, bye. Bye.